I'm soaking up the last of California sun. Welcome to Melrose. I don't even know what this is. Ooh, frames, babe. That's so pretty. See what, I didn't know I was gonna buy anything. Yeah, People general. making tops out of socks, literally. <laughs> I saw that. The flea market guide no one asked for. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. It's another day in LA. I always love to rhyme. What? Oh, she's getting shoes. Uh, so today is actually Sunday. I have been craving a flea market, a thrift store, an estate sale of some kind just to, I just think that they're fun, <laughs> even if we don't find anything. Uh, and I'm not lurking, looking for anything, but I just think it's a fun activity. Today, the only flea market that's happening in Los Angeles is the Melrose Trading Post. Now, it happens every Sunday, so it's every weekend, um, and it's smaller than the Rose Bowl. It's, definitely, it's smaller than Long Beach as well, um, but it is really local and it's just fun. I haven't been there in for forever. It's a little later in the day, um, but I think that they're open until like four or five, right? Yeah, I think five. I haven't been there five. in a while. Five, yeah, so. I haven't been there in a while. So we are heading out. Come flea market shopping with us. Kinsley, you have to stay here, little girl. You have to stay here, little girl. I'm so sorry, Dude, I love so you. so good. Stay, stay, we'll be back, okay? Hey, welcome to the Rose Bowl. A oh, Rose Bowl. Welcome to the Rose Bowl. Welcome to Melrose. I've got a lot of those. I see brown plates. Oh no, there's birds on them, like ducks. What do you call it? I don't want to yell the music. I tried to do that, but it was really It's yeah. This is so pretty. Ooh, art. I love looking at old photographs for some reason. Stamps? Oh my gosh, look at all the detail. I don't even know what this is. I wanna do these for Christmas time, these horns. This is a pretty one too. Spotted. <laughs> I always love looking at the rugs. I feel like I'm a, like addicted to rugs. Look at this. The the rug that we found for in the for IKEA is perfectly fine. It's a little more red than I would like it, but I do like it. It is pretty. Oh, frames, babe. Pretty. <gasps> That's so pretty. Both of these are gorgeous. How much are you asking for your frames? Show me what you like. Okay, this one. Let's start here. That's, that's $30. $30? How about the little bit bigger one? Like, those are 60 but I'll do $50. 50 50 uh, yeah. This is a good size. So? Yeah. Look how pretty. I think it's really pretty. Like, I feel like it's a little more French country. It actually, Mom, you're probably going to want this. <laughs> You'll have to come to LA and get it. Just say it. It's very nice, huh? So we see what I didn't know I was gonna buy anything. That's so exciting. Look at these vintage dockers that I just found for me. I love them. I mean, I hope they. Fit. I'm pretty sure they'll fit on a little baggy side. They're super cute, right? They're linen. You guys, look how cool these are. 3D printed. I've actually never seen something 3D printed before. Look at the, the dried flowers. I know. I was dead out. Oh. Look how pretty cute this is. So cute. So Jules gonna do a custom art print of Kinsley. I'm so excited. Uh, any picture? Any picture, whatever, whichever picture. Your now, favorite photo. Uh, you have okay. a lot of I do, oh, well of course. Of course. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. That one. Okay, I feel like of all the markets, this one is like the most creative. It has like the most interesting, you know, booths and, and just art and people making tops out of socks. Literally, <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Didn't you see that? The Nike like socks? Melrose area, there's a lot of people. Yeah, Melrose is like very like, um, oh, 
the closing up already. We kind of came a little late. If you are gonna come to Melrose, um, it is much more, it's a lot more clothing than it is home decor. I probably see five booths that are home decor. I love it. Oh my God, that looks just That's like her. her. <laughs> that looks just like her. Okay, I love her. Okay, so happy. It's gonna go on my That's bedside so table so oh, I can stare I at her. Me. So I, I don't have frames, but no. I'm gonna put it in a hard, hard back and oh, yeah. a thingy. You know I got frames. I know. I'm like, I'm sure you have something <laughs> that's more aligned. I love it. It does look like, just does like it? her. Yeah, her does. expression. Exactly. You know, because yeah. Kinsley has this one eye. Just like yeah, and you notice that. I she does. just kind of like looks at you like, and you can see like the part of the white in oh her. Oh my God, it looks just like Kinsley. <laughs> I'm so happy. I mean, your mom's such an incredible artist. Oh my God. And I'm like, I need to do justice. Oh my God, no, this is amazing. <laughs> so apparently, we had just missed Jennifer and Ben. Benifer. They were there. Paparazzi was all there, apparently. But I asked Romeo, I was like, how did the paparazzi know that they were going to be there? Was it like planned? Maybe they followed them. You think they, they followed them from they their house? And then they saw them park at Melrose. Oh, they said that they were shopping and, you know, walking around there was paparazzi like all lining the gate and stuff that's wild so we apparently just missed them when we when i ordered a uh, starbucks we're getting starbucks but we're sitting here talking about the different flea markets in in los angeles obviously we've been around we've been to the flea markets for many 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 years we've gone to i would say almost every flea market that we know of in la and we're not talking swap meets swap meets are a little different than flea markets for sure um because I look for more of like home stuff, like vintage. So we, we've gone to, obviously Melrose that we just went to, we feel is like more trendy, more, I, like I said, like really creative. People taking things and upcycling, upcycling them in different ways. So you'll see like old new products, like if that makes sense. Reworking. Tie dyeing, painting. Yeah, like stitching clothes a different way, maybe cropping them, making them a little more trendy and giving clothes a dip, uh, like a second life, which is super in right now. Um, so that's Melrose. And then there's a limit. There's not very many home decor people at Melrose, but that's kind of how it's always been. Yeah. You know, maybe they, they used to have a little more, more home stuff. Silver Lake Flea Market is all clothing. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's like maybe like some like like maybe like a jewelry vendors, a couple food vendors. And, okay, know, so jewelry. It's more like Y2K there now. Oh, okay, Y2K. Like, what I've is noticed. it more trendy? Oh, more Y2K. Like Y2K, so, it's trendy. Yeah, there's a lot more Y2K. So more clothing. So I I've been to Silver Lake twice, and I've never seen any. Maybe it's very minimal. Like maybe a booth will have a little trinkets here and there of home products, but nothing else. And then the Rose Bowl is just so many vendors, it's everything. And it's all sectioned. So there's like one huge section around the bowl that's mostly newer products, but still some mixed with um, old and antique. And then there's an entire section to the left of that that's all home products, tons of booths, tons of vendors. And then there's you go over the bridges and there's a whole nother section and it's all clothing. I think now they're kind of a little bit more mixed but it's pretty divided that way, right? Yeah, it is. I mean, I haven't had time to go around the whole bowl. And oh, I, mean, I walk the whole bowl. You just bowl. Can't, can't do it all in one day, though. You can't. Oh, I can't do it all in one day. <laughs> <laughs> I am a scan shopper, though. I can, like, go and, like, I can be walking past a booth and I can scan if there's something that catches my eye and, like, draws me in. Um, and I can shop pretty quickly, I feel like, especially when I'm looking for something particular, you know. Um, but I can do, if we, we used to go to the Rose Bowl very early in the morning, we would get there at, like, 6? 6, 6 a.m., and then we would be done before it got really hot or the crowd came in. So we would be done around 10 a.m. And that was like the best way. I got to really see everything first and that was just the best way to get the most in, of, of our trip, make the most of our trip. It did cost more to get in earlier though. Because all of these flea markets cost except for Silver Lake. Yeah. Right, so it's $5, as of today, it's $5 to get into the Melrose fleet. It used to be two. You remember? Yes, it did. <laughs> it used to be $2. I think that's the last time I went. I think they raised it to $3 and now it's 5 Yeah, I remember that. So that's to get into Melrose. Silver Lake is free to get in. It's much smaller though. Much smaller, Much yeah. smaller. 
Um, and then Rose Bowl depends on the time of day you go. So if you go really early, like the early bird pricing is twenty. Last time I went, it was twenty dollars. Five a.m. to nine a.m. is twenty dollars. Anything after nine is uh, ten. eight. Oh, ten it's bucks. ten. ten it used to be eight because they used to give you a two dollar bill back. Yeah, people will wait until after nine to save the extra ten dollars. Yeah, we say. we didn't. We would we would go early. Yeah. yeah. And then there's the Long Beach flea market. Now I think of all of them, the Long Beach flea is my favorite because it is the most home products there's um there's a good mix of clothes but i would say it's what 75 percent yeah. home we know our flea markets 75 yeah. percent home products and it's just good it's like all the good vendors just like cram into one flea market i always find so much like when i did the spring refresh at our house i found so much good art i felt like the pricing was good just overall, I feel like if I had to say Long Beach Flea is my favorite by far. There's also Los Feliz Flea, I forgot to tell you. But now it's Los free as well. Los Feliz is free, it's but like, is it more clothes? See, I don't uh, frequent I the clothing it's more, ones. I think it's very, I think it's kind of similar to Melrose, I think. Okay. I've been there a few times, but... Los Feliz. There's also Ventura. We've only been to Ventura once because it's a little far from us. Kind of empty if I remember right, so I don't have a good gauge. I can't, I can't really give any... But it, I don't remember how much it was to get in there either. Mm. But it's put on by the same people as the Rose Bowl, our, our, our RGC Cannon. Or our... The flea market guide, no one asked for it, but hopefully that was helpful if you are ever in LA. They're also all on different weekends or they're every weekend. Silver Lake is every weekend, Melrose is every weekend, Rose Bowl is the second Sunday of the month, Long Beach is the third. Sunday of the month. Sometimes there's two Long Beach fleas in the same month if there's five Sundays, I think. And then Ventura, I think, is the fourth Sunday. I don't know. I don't know! The Ventura, I'm not sure about. So, okay, we're gonna get some coffee and then we're gonna do a haul when we get home. <sighs> okay, we made it back. Can you say hi to everybody? I got you something. Well, I got me something of you. Do you wanna see what it is? Biscuit, you guys, I'm so excited about this. Wait, wait, wait. Look at this. It looks just like her. Show them. Show them it looks just like you. Wait, show them. If you want a little portrait of your puppy or your person, your, your, you, <laughs> anyone, anything. Yes, look. Do you love it? She made this for us. I love this so much send her reach out send her a picture this is so cute and if you're ever at the flea market um she does it while you're walking around so she did that it's like so quick and it's so cute i'm not going to be able to get a frame for it uh, i don't think i have one but i'm not going to be able to get a frame for it um until i come back but i'm going to put it where she's going to go right here oh that is precious guys i was actually surprised that i got i, I mean i wasn't looking for anything so every time i go to the flea market i'm like i'm not for anything i always tend to find something that i have to have like this frame how pretty is this it had it's more of a french country style um more just like washed it's so pretty i know my mom's gonna want this i'm sure after she watches this she's gonna call me but i loved it i think it needs some cleaning up but it's just it's just dirty from being out there really um and we've got my mom and i have gotten pretty good at cleaning them up in the right ways and this is a decent size frame for 30 bucks like this is every bit of maybe it's this is 20 by 24 so this is a decent so mom i need you to paint me something for this if you can get inspiration you know i, I imagine something with more rich tones because the frame is more subtle in color it, it can support like something that has like really richness or really li uh, like a lot of lightness in it too. It could be like kind of a breath of fresh air kind of piece of art. So got this for 30 and I was on a mission for a few clothing pieces. I just feel like I've been wearing, this is Romeo's shirt because I, I've been wearing the same thing over and over again because I really don't have much summer stuff here. Look how cute this is. It's kind of like a um, avocado green kind of color and then her same shop she had this and I thought it was so cute I want I love jumpers and I was looking for like dresses of some kind but that is in my style um, and I found this this jumper 
and it's like gauzy and it's double layered so it's not super see-through because sometimes that's a problem with white stuff um, but I thought it was so pretty and the back look the back goes down to like a V this one was 50 and then these pants are vintage dockers and I thought they were so cool I've been very into this like coastal grandma English coastal grandma chic kind of look that's been all over TikTok and I think now my whole feed is the same thing because I keep liking those TikToks um, but these were so cool these were like the great like summer kind of like straight leg pleated pant and they're linen so they're breathable and these were I got these for 25 bucks good morning guys it's the next day <sighs> I leave for Texas tomorrow I'm going back to the cottage. I've been itching to do projects, but this was a much needed break. <laughs> it was so much fun. I got so much accomplished here. I got so much done, like in terms of like projects, I've just been delaying, like cleaning out that room, bringing stuff to storage, the TV being broken, seeing my friends, hanging out with Romeo and just like, you know, living a non-construction ridden life and non-renovation life was like really, really necessary. Today we're going to run errands, but we're just going to make um, something for lunch. So big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I changed the address depending on where we're going to be because their plans are so flexible. It's super easy to go on the app and just adjust the address from our Texas address to here when we're going to be here so we always have meals in the fridge to cook uh, so today we are going to be making curried turkey bowls and one of the things that they recently started doing that I really love is that you can swap out the protein on any of their 55 plus meals every week they have so many different options already but if you find a recipe that you really like so I swap out the beef and the pork in recipes for chicken or turkey or maybe a seafood option so it makes even more meal options every week to choose from so we get three meals every week delivered straight to our door from HelloFresh and that's quality produce straight from the farm to our door in less than a week so the produce is fresher than getting it from the grocery store every meal comes with exactly what you need already combined together so it saves you time and worry you don't have to overthink what you're going to eat that day and there's no food waste so you have just what you need for that recipe so nothing goes bad in your fridge which I used to hate. HelloFresh is up to 72% cheaper than dining out at a restaurant or grocery shopping. They also offer different meal plans so you can get the veggie, pescatarian, or I like the fit and wholesome recipes because they're a little bit more conscious of the calories and I get to pick my protein just like I would with any of the other recipes. I've personally learned so much about cooking through HelloFresh, like just basic things that I just, I'm just not a chef. Romeo's always cooked amazing meals, but with HelloFresh, it's easier for me to have something really nice for us to eat. Um, and then sometimes he cooks them too. And they're just, <laughs> they don't have to do anything, but they come with a really easy to follow recipe card. So you know exactly what you're supposed to do and exactly what you're supposed to pull out of your pantry to get started cooking. This has apricot preserves in it and dried apricots. And I noticed when I was cooking, you can also swap the rice for cauliflower rice. So that's even more possibilities with HelloFresh. I have to try this, I'm like. Mm. Mm. Babe, you're gonna love this. So we obviously love HelloFresh. I know you guys will too. So try them out. You can go to hellofresh.com and use code McKenna16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. You're not going to regret it. So we're going to eat. I'm soaking up the last of the California sun and weather. Like better weather. It's 70 degrees today. Probably 100 in Texas right now. Oh. So the realtor that we met um, at that last house that we went to that was going to start looking for houses um, sent me a text message and she's going to start sending us like since we're not here all the time, she's going to start touring homes and um, seeing what's available on the market and actually sending us a video of them and just so that we can actually like get to experience or, or get to see what's out there and then if we really want to see it you know maybe we can make a trip I, I don't know all up in the air she she knows what we're looking for but I just kind of wanted to reiterate on text uh, we ideally are looking for something that's move-in ready so we want to be able to move in right away 
and has character that we can highlight and put our own touch on. Somewhat of a fixer upper, but not a complete remodel um, is really what we're looking for. So we don't wanna do what we did in Texas in terms of like taking it down to the studs. You know, a few changes here or there is, is really what we're looking for at, at this point with something that we're gonna live in. I don't know, maybe in the future we can buy something and flip it and do something like that. But for this, for our kind of like dream home, this is like what we're looking for. Then we can, I just want something with character. A lot of the newer homes are real modern. And you know, I have, a, I'm partial to old. <laughs> Um, something that's been updated in some ways, but we could still do some things. So, so today I I have to go to World Market um, because I need to return a rug. Okay, here's, I, I went, you guys know that I got this rug for our living room. It has more of a burgundy look to it. And I really like tones that are more of a rust orange on the orange side of that color. Even though I really like the print, I really like, you know, the pattern of it and everything. Um, size perfect, everything. And I really like the rug. It's just for this space, I think what, what's kind of throwing me is you see this, it has orange in it. And then when you have like a rug that has more red, like this, it kind of starts to clash a little bit. So I went to see if there was anything else that I would like. So went to World Market. Here's what happened. Okay, let's see if we can find a rug here. These are like the washable ones. No, not like that. <laughs> no, that's too boho. No, that's too like tealy. It's too soft. It's too colorful. Whoa. It's kind of intense. Oh, feel this. Feel this. Oh. <laughs> that feels so amazing. Is that more orangey? Is that too like baby girl, like nursery looking? This feels so soft. That's too small. Too... This one. Is it too colorful? I kind of like it. You kind of like it? It's kind of like orangey, it's kind of burgundy, it's kind of pinky. Why do we have Well, because it's got all the white. colors in it. <laughs> do you have a Y to everything? No, we add a Y to everything. A Y kind of to everything? It's kind of bluey. Okay, that's one option. Okay, no, I like this one. I like it's that it's softer, but it's too orange. It's too orangey. Yeah, too light. This is the rug in a smaller size, um, just laid on the floor so I could see it. I don't know, it is light, so I feel like we're gonna run into the same problem, but not as quite as much because there is a pattern to it, but it's so soft. So I bought the rug, I bought it, and I didn't even take it out of the package. Look, I know for a fact it's not gonna work. I just really liked how soft it was, and it did have that orange in it, but this is it overall is beautiful. For, for me personally, I would imagine it more like in a like a, a little girl's room <laughs> or something like it. It's so soft and so plush, but it doesn't have like the deep, dark contrast that I really, really love. Um, so I'm not even opening it. We have to return it. We're doing one project before we leave. I got some potting soil. There are two pots that we have out here on our front porch. Um, I used to have some plants and <laughs> I went to Texas. Uh, so they're gone and I just took them out, but I bought some potting soil and I wanna plant. I have two snake plants that are inside right now, kind of tucked away. So this plant is just like hidden back here. It's got some dead leaves that I need to like pick away at so we can make her more healthy. Cause I think it's too out of sight, out of mind even for me, so we're not remembering to water it. So I just got moisture control potting mix. I was hoping, I haven't done a lot of gardening yet, but I'm gearing up to do some landscaping. <laughs> I wanted to actually replant them. I didn't want to just have them in their pots. See how this goes. Cut all the dead ones back. Ooh, that one's juicy. Give the roots a good massage to break up the soil. This one actually has a baby coming in, so that's good. Just where it was needed. 
pretty. Give them a nice little drink of water. And these um, pots have drainage holes, so hopefully they'll thrive out here. So we made it to uh, Romeo's mom's house, but their apartment complex is so nice. I remember, I haven't been on here in a while, but I remember touring this right, right after they built it. But look at the ceiling. Look at this kitchen. This is like the communal um, kind of like guest house. Wait, look at this vintage rug. Tell your mom I want this. What? Oh, it was like stuck. That's really nice. So this like whole area is so nice. We got all these nice books here. Look at these. <gasps> Whoa. Isn't this like I've never even seen a couch that looks like that. It's so cool. Oh, look at these little cabanas. Can't wait to start working on the outdoor space at the cottage. I feel like it's going to take a while for it to be like as cottagey as I want it to be at the cottage, but as cottagey as I want it to be at the cottage. Oh my God, I'm saying cottage so many times. But when it actually starts to come together, it's going to be so pretty. No Like this, like smoothly, and I'm lifting up or anything like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that feels awkward. Right? Yeah, it feels awkward to don't do it that way. Yeah, that's the natural. Nice, right. great. great. Wow. Well, Instantly so pro. <laughs> that's about as good as it's gonna get, you guys. Okay. okay. been hanging out. Romeo's still playing pool, just hanging out with family. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know what you guys love to find at flea markets. If you have favorite flea markets in your area, um, we would love to travel like to different states and go flea market shopping. We would just need like a car to actually find stuff and be able to bring stuff back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification. We are back to renovations starting tomorrow and I am itching to get back. I'm like ready. You know, like I'm just like, I need a project. Projects make me feel purposeful <laughs> in life, even though we've, this was amazing, but like I'm, I'm ready to make pretty progress continue at the cottage. Next renovation video that is coming back this Sunday over on my other channel. So we are wrapping up the guest bathroom. So I'm building things, decorating, finishing out the trim. <sighs> It's gonna be pretty. It's come, it's come, this house has come so far. So I will see you guys again on Sunday and then again on the vlog next week. Bye guys. Are you playing against yourself? Yeah, losing. You're, you're losing against yourself? How is that even possible? Well, I guess one of you would have to lose if you're playing against yourself. He's good? He's good? <laughs>